The adenoid, also known as the pharyngeal tonsil, is the superior most of the tonsils. It located behind the nasal cavity, in the roof of the nasopharynx. When this pharyngeal tonsils abnormally enlarged, it is called adenoid hypertrophy. Many types bacterial and viral pathogens can infect adenoids and cause its hypertrophy. Signs and symptoms can be different and depend severity of hypertrophy. Common complaints are rhinorrhea, difficulty breathing through the nose, chronic cough. Also post-nasal drip can develop, snoring, and or sleep disordered breathing in children. If the nasal obstruction is significant, the patient can suffer from sinusitis as a result and may complain of facial pain or pressure. On physical exam, the patient with adenoid hypertrophy will often breathe through the mouth, have a hyponasal character to the voice, and may have the facial characteristics known as adenoid facies which include a high arched hard palate, increased facial height, and mid-face retrusion. The adenoids naturally atrophy and regress during adolescence. That's why adenoid hypertrophy is common among children than in adults. This is very common condition among children, almost third of kids have adenoid hypertrophy but generally it's self-resolving due to age-related adenoid atrophy. Adenoid hypertrophy can occur because of infectious and non-infectious etiologies. Infectious causes of adenoid hypertrophy include both viral and bacterial pathogens. Diagnosis Lateral head and neck radiography have been used for assessment of the adenoids, especially in fussy or non-cooperative young children. Videofluoroscopy has also been described as a method for determining the degree of adenoid hypertrophy. Visualization of the adenoids by fiber-optic nasopharyngoscopy is another option for assessing the adenoids in the clinical setting. With good reliability and without unnecessary exposure to radiation. In acute and chronic infectious adenoid hypertrophy, medical management with antibiotics is the appropriate first step. Amoxicillin can be used for uncomplicated acute adenoiditis, however, a beta-lactamase inhibitor such as clavulanic acid should be included for chronic or recurrent infections. Clindamycin or azithromycin are considered as alternatives in patients with penicillin allergies. Nasal steroids have been suggested as an additional option for medical treatment with some short-term success noted. Adenoidectomy is the surgical treatment option of choice for adenoid hypertrophy. Complications of adenoid hypertrophy are often seen as complications of persistent middle ear effusion and or sleep-disordered breathing which can occur as a result of untreated adenoid hypertrophy. Children with adenoid hypertrophy are at risk for developing speech, language, and or learning difficulties as a result of conductive hearing loss which can occur with persistent secondary middle ear effusion. Adenoid hypertrophy also places patients at risk for sleep disordered breathing and sleep apnea which in children can lead to behavioral problems, bedwetting, pulmonary hypertension, and has been associated with psychiatric disorders such as depression and ADHD.